In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the Psychonic L508. First, the power button. If we press and hold that down, the LCD screen will turn on. Next, what you'll do is change the lumosphere from down to up by turning this dial to the right. This brings the bulb up and out of its protective case. The purpose for that is simply to keep it protected during travel or storage. Next, as the 308 had, you have continuous light, strobe lighting, and strobe with a flash sync. This is displaying that the lumosphere is the meter that is being read right now. On this light meter, we have the lumosphere, and we also have a spot meter. We'll talk about that in a second. With the lumosphere in the up position, it works the same as 308 did. We have mode, which changes from continuous light to strobe light. When you press that down, you'll turn this dial clockwise to change the setting. We're going to keep it on continuous mode again. We have a memory clear button, which is an option. If you have one ISO saved and then a different ISO saved, you would do that if you had two cameras um, that you're working on in the studio. Again, your ISO is in the top right corner, your shutter speed, and your f-stop. On the side, we still have the measuring button, about the same position. Down here, we have a cap over the PC terminal. When we take that off, we can still see that we have this, like we did on the 308, to plug in the strobe if we decided to. Let's start by setting our ISO. For this tutorial, let's set our ISO to 400. We're going to turn our dial counterclockwise to 400. Again, these light meters are set to third stop difference. As you can see, if I hold this button down, it changes to 320, 250, then 200. One, two, three. That means third stops. There are three different settings that could be on between whole stops. Whole stops, as you know, are 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600, and 3200. We change our shutter speed with this dial too. Either up or down, depending on if you want to go lower or higher. So we will set the ISO to 400 and take our first light reading. This is telling us the correct exposure for direct sunlight onto this lumosphere is 500th of a second at, at f5.6.4, which is almost 5.6 and a half, which could be rounded down to the next third. The third below 5.6, as we know, is 5. So the closest exposure your camera could get to the exact exposure of direct sunlight onto this sensor is 500th of a second at f5 with your ISO being 400. If we had a second camera, we could press this ISO button. The screen changes right there when I press this down. Then we can change this. And since we already took the meter reading, the computer inside of the light meter is changing the f-stop for us. As you can see, your ISO changes in third stops. So this number to 5.6, the tenth, is changing too. It's one third of a stop. So if we went down one third in your ISO, we're closer to 5.6. This average button, when pressed, tells us if I take meter readings, of a certain area and I want to get the average light reading for that area. If I take all different kinds of light readings, it's going to average all of them out.